welcome to all of you on the channel Max Munir. So today we are going to solve another problem uh, from D2 Math Seventh Edition, and in particular, the this question have been taken from the topic statistics and probability. And uh, you all know that if you are sitting for an O level exam or even for A level exam, the concept of probability and statistics is a very fundamental concept that you must need to know. And this question is belong to the class of probability and you have to get every single thing. Alright, so please pay your attention and you should have your copy and pen with you. Note it down this step so that you can uh, get the questions later as well. Alright, like I said, this question belong to the class of probability. So first we need to understand that what is it, what does it mean by probability. Let's take a quick example. Let's suppose you are, you are tossing a coin. And we know that there are only two possibilities that you are going to get either head or tail. So in that case, the probability is uh, probability of getting head and tail is 50 50. So once we say that 50 50, it means that the probability is actually uh, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 for head and 1 by 2 for tail as well. So what does this two represent and what does this uh, one represent? In the denominator, uh, this two represent the total number of possible outcome. The total number of possible, oh, this two represent the total number of uh, values that you have. All right, and this in denominator, this one actually represent the possible outcome. The total values over here we have two head and tail. That's why we have two head is one actually. So that's why the possible outcome is one in the case of head. That is why it's one over two. And the possible outcome in the case of tail is also 1. So that is why it's 1 over 2 as well. Okay. So now I'm going to give you uh, one more example uh, from the dice. Let's suppose that you are uh, rolling a dice on the floor. We know that in dice we have number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we are interested in to find out the uh, probability of getting an even number. All right. So, what is the probability of getting an even number when that when you roll a dice? So, the even numbers are two, four, six, which are three. So, possible numbers are three, and the total numbers are six. So, three over six simplify this fraction, it will become one over two. Please don't forget that once you are solving the fraction, you always need to write the fraction into its uh, lowest form. Okay. Uh, now let's read the question. There are 50 students in an auditorium. There are 50 students in an auditorium. So we will write solution. Total students are 50. Of which two X are boys and Y are girls. So obviously boys and girls together they are making 50. So we will write according to condition boys plus girls they are making 50. So that is our one condition. Now after Y minus 6 boys leaves the auditorium. Y minus 6 boys are leaving the auditorium. And 2X minus 5 girls enter the auditorium. So it means that the total number that you have initially that is going to be changed. So we will write total. Now total student will be out of 50 you will subtract y minus 6 because these are the uh, number of amount of y's that are leaving the auditorium and 2x minus 5. Why adding them? Why adding 2x minus 5? Because the girls are entering more. So simplify this 50 minus y. Once you open the bracket the sign of every single term is going to be changed. So minus minus plus 6 plus 2x minus 5 okay so we will we are going to write it 2x minus y we are rearranging it arranging it actually so 50 plus 6 is going to be 56 56 minus 5 it will be plus 51 so that equation has become the total number of students uh, after reading this condition tail over here okay now further they are actually saying that now further they are saying that the probability of selecting a girl at random becomes 9 over 30. We need to learn that what does it mean by. 
I hope you still remember that what does it mean by probability. So once you are selecting a girl at random, the probability has become 9 over 13. I told you the formula. Uh, the formula is that over here. The total number of outcomes. The total number of outcomes is actually this. This is the total number of strength. So we will write 2x minus y plus 51. Now, how many girls are there in the auditorium right now? Initially, they were Y girls and then 2X minus 5 girls entered in the auditorium as well. So, that has become Y plus 2X minus 5. These are the girls and these are the total number of students including boys and girls. The probability of selecting a girl becomes 9 over 13. Okay? It's like... Once you select um, how many, um, what's the possibility that you are going to get head once you toss a coin, it's 1 over 2. So that is the probability 9 over 13. That is the probability, probability that you are going to get. So cross multiply will be 13y plus 26x minus 13 times 565 equals to 9 times 2x. 18x minus 9y plus 9 times 51 is going to give you 459. Okay, arrange the uh, your equation 26x this 18x once you shift that 18x from this side to this side so 26 minus 18 is going to give you 8x 13y this is minus 9y minus 9 once you shift it to, to that side to this side it will become plus so 13 plus is going to give you 22 y over here you have minus 65 and you have 459 once you shift that from this to this uh, it will become minus as well so minus 65 minus 459 is going to give you 524 equals to 0 okay now if you look at this equation carefully you will realize that 8 is an even number 22 is an even number 524 is an even number as well if, if they all three numbers are even it means that you can divide them by two the, um, the trick of the question is that you need to make your uh, calculation as much as simple you can all right if you are genius you are going to make your uh, calculation very easily all right so that is the trick in mathematics that please try to keep things as much as simple that you can so divide all 3 by 2, 8 divided by 2 will give you 4x, 22 divided by 2 is going to give you 11y and once you divide 524 with 2 you will get 262 equals to 0. Okay, now these are the two equations. 2x plus 5 y equals to 50 is equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2. Now you need to solve these two equations in order to get the values of x and y. So when we have two or more than two equations there are many methods to solve it. Either you can use the substitution method, you can use the simultaneous equation method, you can use the even in matrices you can use uh, matrix inverse method, you can use the Kramer rule, you can use many other method as well. So uh, over here we are going to use this simple method which is the substitution method. So I am going to change this equation a little. I am going to write it as y in terms of x. y in terms of x it will become 50 minus 2x. Now you, once you plug in the value of this y into this equation, you will see that all the this whole equation will become in the form of x and you can solve for x. So 4x plus 11 y, the value of y 50 minus 2x minus 262 equals to 0. Okay, so 4x 11 times 50 is 550 minus 22x minus 262 equals to 0. Okay, so 4x minus 22x is going to give you minus 18x. And 550 minus 262 
it's going to give you how much we can check it out it 10 to 8 you have to take carry 14 minus 6 is 8 again and 288 it should be plus because 550 is 288 okay so I need to erase the board so what I'm going to do I am going to write this equation over here so that we will not forget because we need this equation y equals to 50 minus equation this is the equation that we need to use for this ok so I am erasing this part So it will minus 18x minus 288 equals to 0. So minus 18x minus 18x equals to 288 and now it will become minus. Minus and minus can cancel so x is equals to 288 divided by 18 so once you divide 288 with 18 you are 18 1 times 18 6 18 6 so you are going to get the value of x is 16 so this is the value of x that we have got after all this hard work so what we are going to do now plug in this value of x in this equation the equation was y is equals to 50 minus 2 times 16 so 50 minus 32 so y is 80 so finally we have just got the value of x and y which was required so again you can always cross check your answer if you put the value of x is equal to 16 and 18 into your original equation which was to which was you know boys are 2x and the girls are y together they are how much 50 that was the initial condition so put the value of 16 and 18 over here you are going to get 50 equals to 50 so if you go if you get 50 equals to 50 it means that your solution is perfectly right and you don't need to worry about it so if you are setting an exam you will be happy to know that oh wow after it's all hard work you have come to the right solution so if you have got this question please don't forget to subscribe and share as much as you can and in addition to that in my coming videos I will be solving more questions from this topic probability and statistics because you know I have got feedback from the many people and from the student they want me to solve to take this topic a little more further so that their concept will be uh, more uh, better or polished.